Hello, and welcome to this Apex SQL Analyze demo introduction. Apex SQL Analyze is a simple yet powerful developer tool for SQL Server database dependency analysis. Apex SQL Analyze enables users to analyze and graphically review object dependencies inside SQL Server databases and create custom visualizations. In addition, Apex SQL Analyze can be used to export database dependency diagrams into various formats, such as JPEG, PNG, and bitmap format. In order to analyze a database to determine object graphical dependencies, a new project needs to be created by clicking the New button. Once clicked, the Database Connection dialog will appear, where the desired databases need to be selected. Once a database has been selected for analysis, it will be parsed by the Dependency Explorer engine and graphically represented, showing all object dependencies inside the selected database. The main window of Apex SQL Analyze offers a view of the created graphical dependency diagram with navigation, display, and layout options, and panels that can be toggled on or off. Once a database dependency diagram is created, it can be analyzed by selecting the desired objects and their dependencies will be highlighted on the main view area, as well as the dependencies panel on the right, in which the complete dependency chain for the selected object in the dependency graph, for example, address table, can be shown. Referencing indicate the object that depend on the selected object, and referenced by shows the objects from which the selected object depends on. Also, the dependency chain can be reviewed by selecting an object in the dependency graph. Right-click, and from the context menu, under the Select Submenu, choose Referencing Objects or Referenced Objects command. Beside the Selecting Referencing or Referenced Objects under the Select Submenu, you can select all objects with the same type as is currently selected. For example, in the Dependency Explorer, we have selected the address Table. Now, use the Same Type command, and all objects with the table type will be selected in the Dependency Explorer. The All command is for selecting all objects in the Dependency Explorer at once. The Invert command, as the word itself says, will invert selection of the objects. For example, we have selected the address table in the Dependency Explorer. Now, when we use the Invert command, the address table will be unselected and all other objects in the Dependency Explorer will be selected. For easier analysis and faster filtering of desired objects, the Object Browser on the left side can be used. Only selected object type categories will be shown, which helps by narrowing down the viewable object set to allow focus on particular objects and relationships. For example, Tables, View, Procedures, and Functions. The Dependency Explorer feature of Apex SQL Analyze also allows you to customize and design the overall appearance of the dependency diagram. The Dependency Explorer feature provides the following customization capabilities. Layout editing, including moving nodes, resizing nodes and clusters, and selecting the layout mode. Selecting the layout style between shapes and colors and icons. Zooming, scrolling, Fit to window and full screen mode. Creation of custom graphs, including manual definition of object's position. To select multiple objects that need analysis, click the object to select it. Press and hold the Control button. Then, clicking alongside will add the next selected object to the current selection if previously unselected, or unselected if previously selected. The Dependency Diagram Object Layout and Style can be modified and adjusted using a few different options. The Style Options are located in the Layout tab of the Options window. The Shapes and Colors option shows the objects in the Dependency Diagram using various shapes and colors for representing different object types. For example, a blue rectangle represents the tables. Blue trapeze represents triggers. The Icons option shows the objects in the Dependency Diagram using icons for representing different object types. To customize the layout mode of the Dependency Diagram, the Layout options from the main ribbon bar can be used. Each of the three layout modes available, Organic, Circular, and Orthogonal, modifies the Dependency Diagram to the selected layout mode. For example, 
The orthogonal option attempts to organize objects in the diagram so that they are at right angles to each other. It is useful for quick identification of all objects related to a given object, i.e., both those that depend on it and those that it depends on. Using these options, it can be determined how many objects depend on a specific object, and a determination can be made as to whether it is safe to delete it without breaking relationships. The default settings for each instance can be restored by pressing the Defaults button in the Options window. Other display options are also available and can drastically help in analyzing even the most complex databases. For example, all unreferenced objects can be turned off by clicking the Hide Unreferenced button from the main ribbon bar. Additionally, when those objects are hidden, they and any other hidden objects can be shown by clicking the Show Hidden button. For a detailed column level view of each graphically represented object, select the Show Columns object. The option shows columns with data types of the Tables and Views objects. Additionally, the definition of an object can be easily reviewed by selecting the desired object, for example, Address Table. Right click and from the Context menu, select the Show Script command. The script window will appear with a definition of the selected object. Database dependency diagrams can be exported into high-definition images that can be saved for later use by clicking the Export button and saving the image in a desired output format. Dependency diagram selections can also be exported using the Partial Selection Export feature. To export a part of the diagram, click on the Export Part option. Then, press and hold the left mouse button and select the region which needs to be exported. After releasing the left mouse button, the Save File as Picture window will appear. In the File Name box, enter a name for the picture. Under the Save As Type drop-down box, choose one available type, for example, PNG, and press the Save button. Now, go to the location where the picture is saved and open it. As you can see on the image, only the selected area from the Dependency Explorer is saved. Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit apexsequel.com.